Let's use number lines to solve addition. If we want to work out 9 plus 7, what we can do is start at 9 on our number line, and 9 is 1 before 10. Now we want to add 7, so we can count by 1. When we count, we go forward or to the right on our number line. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That means we're 1 past 15, which is 16. So 9 plus 7 equals 16. Oh yes, we could count to 10 first. Let's try it that way. The same problem, but this time we're going to count from 9 to 10 because we know that 9 plus 1 equals 10. So that means we've still got another 6 to add on. So now we can add on 6, but we're going to do something different. We're not going to count by 1 this time. 6 is an even number, so we can count by 2. Now you don't have to, but it saves some time. Let's have a look. 2, 4, 6. And you can see we end up at 1 past 15, which is 16. So 9 plus 7 equals 16. What about larger numbers? Well, this time we've got 18 plus 8. Well, 18 is 2 less than 20. So if we started at 20 and went backwards, that's where 18 would be. We can add by 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that gives us 1 past 25, which is 26. Now there's some other ways to solve problems like that. Let's try this one. 14 plus 16. Now one of the tricks is always start with the biggest number. Because when you then count on your number line, you don't have to add as many. We only have to count on by 14 now, so this could save us time. Now, if we start with 16, that's right there, 1 plus 15. What I'm going to do is actually count to the next 10 first. So I'm going to count to 20, and that means I'm going to break my 14 up. I'm going to add 4 first off to 20. It's like counting to 10, and we're counting to the next 10. So we've used up 4 of our 14, and we have 10 left. Now we could actually add 10 like that, because if we've got 20, that's two 10s, one more 10 is 30. So see how we made ourselves a shortcut there? We counted to the next 10, and then we added 10. So we got 30. But we could have done it differently. We could actually add 10 first. If we start at 16, 14 is made up of 10 and 4, so we can add our 10 first. 16 and 10 more is 1 past 25, so that's 26. And then we still have to add 4 more, so we could add them like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we get to 30 again. There's actually different ways using a number line, so you might even solve this problem a different way.